Well, it's pretty easy to visualize, right? If I kind of draw these, I'm gonna call them radii in. They're not really radii, but they are all the same length, right? We all know that if we rotate all the way around in a complete circle, we have 360 degrees. So if I just wanna sort of rotate it the minimum amount that this vertex will then get mapped onto this one, well, I just have to divide 360 degrees by six. And that will give me the minimum angle of 60 degrees. Now, there's a lot of variations on these types of problems that show up on the Regents exam. Oftentimes, they'll say things like, which of the following is an angle of rotation? Now, any multiple of 60 would be a correct angle. So 60, 120, 180, 240, etc. But the way that we can always, always find that minimum angle, that sort of base angle, if you will, is by taking 360 and divide by the number of sides that the regular polygon contains.